Pastor Tunde Bakare reveals what God showed him after he lost the APC presidential primaries. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The general overseer, founder and lead pastor of the Citadel Global Community Church, Pastor Tunde Bakare, has cleared the air on why he was not depressed after he lost the All Progressive Congress primaries. You'll recall that Pastor Tunde Bakare was among the candidates that contested for the presidential ticket during the All Progressive Congress primaries and experienced a heartbreaking loss. But during the gathering of Sons and Daughters event on Friday, Pastor Tunde revealed the revelation he claimed to have received from the Lord after he lost the All Progressive Congress presidential ticket. According to a report by the Punch News, the preacher said that God's plan for the country will be revealed after the 29th of May, 2023. He went on to narrate a revelation he got from the Lord after losing the all-progressive presidential ticket. Pastor Tunde Bakari said, I saw the train pass a second time at the APC convention. There was nothing written on it. When I asked God what it meant, he told me it was not over. I'll be ready for you and I am I to face God on May 29th. Until then, stay calm, he said. This man, I I do not list this like, I mean, I do not like when people, instead of giving out the opinion, to come out to say God said and God showed and God told me. To be very sincere with you. That thing, I'm not a believer at all. If you want to come out and give your own opinion about things, please feel free, but do not deceive yourself. At those points, I don't know about her now, but this thing is with this man they see. I know Siam. I know, I know, I know Concord at all. The train that passed the APC convention without stopping means that APC have come to the end of their journey. And their name train means that a new order without a new structure will become. We take over Nigeria come 2023. Peter B is the next president of Nigeria come 2023. I beg me when I leave, may I use God beg now. So we have um, many, many... Um, uh, was uh, Daniel here that interprets, interprets dream? We have many Daniel in the building. Oshie, all right. If you try malaria and typhoid drugs and they're not working, try herbal medicine. Some of these malaria and typhoid strains can be very resistant and stubborn for years. At the level of hallucination, it can be very dangerous. I beg me, gonna leave me. It's good, beg gonna. You know, don't they use this man to do your year? Well, he's now they bring in several hours when they use it do your year. I mean, if you want to come out and give your opinion about things, you can feel free. It is your, it is your right to come out and speak on matters. Except maybe that place, they don't need your advice or they don't need your opinion. But it is right you can come out and give your opinion about things. Of course, you can give your opinion and this is not taken too. So, but you have the right to come out and give your opinion at least about some certain things. Him always coming out to say God did this. And, I mean, come on now. Come on. All right. Mr. Okay, this is a prescription. No go be overdose for him. I beg my hand, no deal, unless you bring Shetty, my bishop, to do deliverance. <laughs> my goodness. When I don't carry this man, they do you, yeah. Olga, please keep your revelation to yourself. You don't fall our hand. 100 million naira, chai. You leave 100 million naira and you're gambling. You lost 100 million naira and you're gambling. Do you know how many souls you would have touched with that amount? Olga, just pack one side and keep your malaria and typhoon reduced revelation to yourself. Hey, in a month, no biam. In a month, no try. Now back to what we're talking about. Let's get serious. The truth of this matter is, you know, don't bring sentiment. Don't bring sentiment into whatever that is going on. If you want to do something, come down with a full chest. I beg, not to call God names. He God send you. You hear what I talk? You want to do something, come and do it with a full chest. You want to contest for presidency? Please feel free to do so. You want to contest for governorship? Please, you know, feel free. Feel free. You don't even need to come out and say God sent you or God did not send you. That is the truth. You have a right as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to come out and contest for any position at all. Any. Uh huh. My dear Pastor Tunde Bakari, I am still pondering over your involvement in the All Progressive Congress 100 million jamboree, a non refundable payment just to contest the presidential primaries. To say the least, that is criminal from any angle you might look at it. From any angle you might look at it. With due respect, it is most unfortunate to get involved in, in this daylight robbery. The All Progressive Congress as a party would claim that no one coerced 
No one was quest to obtain the presidential nomination form, but the fact remains that a, such a huge amount of money for a futile exercise does not work in the first place. My dear, do you think that they don't know? We are watching to see after the 2023 election what is going to happen to most of them that, you know, that um, bought the form. We want to know whether they will compensate all of them because to me, I feel that it's just a comp. It just, oh yeah, bring money now. Nah. If we win, we will compensate you. You know, those uh, people that will tell you that um, there's job in the police force and you're going to go in as a superintendent or, you know, you're not going to start from, they will tell you to bring one million, 500,000 for a job that you have not gotten. And at the end of the day, you don't even end up getting the job. You know, get the job, you know, get money. All right. Well, God, God did not show you anything, Jerry. You just the scammers. Anyway, you brought out 100 million and dash it out. Not even one vote after bragging that God told you you'd be Nigeria's president. Glory <laughs> roll. I pray God will not disgrace you as you're calling his name even. And they tell you, if you want to come as I can do something, do it with your full chest. You don't even need an explanation. You don't need to explain to anybody at this point. You're a full, full grown man. So what's the thing they do? No be, you will not get people hurt. I mean... We're not in spite of anything, and, and you know you will not you will not get people hurt, and you know you know we incite anything. Then go ahead. This man again, God did not show you. You will have zero vote if if you contest. We could not fear this God now. No. Yeah. Uh, well, Pastor, I beg, let no man say God said what God told me when God has not said or told him anybody. God does not tell lies. I be my brother. Pastor, it means that the old progressive government has gone with that. Your dream about the train that passed on during the year party presidential convention with all stuff. Therefore, I wish you, <laughs> I wish your old progressive Congress party bye bye you. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, um, like I said, you were free to come out to contest any position, to, to, to run for any presidency, you want to do anything, you come out and do it. You are free to do that, but you know, just leave God out of it. Come and do it. In fact, it's going to make more sense if you come out and give your own two cents, you know, the issues than, you know, this. All right. How the mighty are falling in the mocky waters of Nigerian politics. One is really, really ashamed for Pastor Tundi Baka right now. Why not rather come out to support Peter B for the presidency and forget about this failed attempt to remedy his 100 million misadventure? Well, at the end of the day, you know why you know consign us? We know how organized, we know give him anything. We know organize, so you know consign us. He lost money, or he did not lose money. At this point, he did not consign us. We too, what we are concerned about is how to make Nigeria a better and a progressive country in 2020, from 2023 forward. All right, and this night you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time.